What's going on? Welcome to Pentiment, where I'm really excited to play this game, I guess. Um, been a long time coming. Um, let's go. Nothing else to say. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm a little behind on playing it. Just been having a few things go on. Uh, now I'm catching up. We're almost here at the end of the year. I've only got a handful more games to play post, and then I will have played every single Game Pass game. Pretty excited about it. All right, easy read font. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects. That may be difficult for some readers, me. The easy read fonts option improves legibility by disabling some fonts and writing effects. Uh, you know what? We are going to use the stylized fonts because I want the full experience, but if it messes with me, we might have to change it. Sometimes I get ice strain. Oh. This is me, and this is my rock. In Principio, Crat Verbum A Verbum Eret Up. It's a, it's in Latin. Oh, I see. Okay. Get rid of the top of the lair to reveal the hidden picture beneath. The whole theme of the game. I like it. I'm on board. Let's go. I'm loving the style already. Music. It's nice. Anyway, how are you doing today? I suppose I could chitty chat us up while we're just sitting here watching the book move by. You know, I'm having a, a pretty okay day. I got all my complaints out in a Vampire Survivors video, so... I think I'm pretty good. Except for one! I actually do have a story that I'm not sure if I told in that video, and it's a pretty good one. It's the best one, actually. So, I had to get an endoscopy today. That's where they uh, knock you out, and then they put the camera down your throat I woke up during the procedure I woke up I woke up not only did I wake up I was upset by what they were doing and I started moving started doing things pulled out my IV oh yeah no, it was a big thing. They're like trying to calm me down. They're like, hey, buddy, you know, we gotta give you another IV. You gotta, you gotta lay still and stuff like that. I'm like, give me more drugs. I'm a big boy. You didn't put me out good enough. I was real upset about it. I woke up. Talk about your greatest fears. And the abbot said to me, Andreas. I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. I need you to finish this commission by the end of April. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. That sounds like what would be said to me. Don't, don't talk to that person. Brother Piero is such a source of wisdom and encouragement for you, though. Indeed, but the rule of the Christian contemplative life demands that the brothers not engage in idle chatter. Ooh, could I have looked at the rule? Is that why it was, like, lit up? Jesus Christ! What a pack of dullards! Be happy you're only stuck there for a few more months, Andreas. Okay, immediately I'm like, can I control anything? No. How did you reply to the abbot, Andreas? I apologize and said I'd avoid unnecessary conversations in the future. I replied that the rule... What's the rule? Wow. Oh. Dope. The rule of Saint Benedict of Nursia is a book of instructions for monks living together under the guidance of an abbot. Written in the 6th century, the rule provides the principles for living a monastic life. 
Okay. Um... I replied, the rule was for him, not for me. I'm an artist, not a monk. And thank Christ for that, aha! His calling is to God, yours is to your labor and the illumination that it brings. It's the abbot's house, so everyone has to play by his rules, or rather, the rule. Despite the abbot's ire, you must endure. Soon you will have finished both the abbot's work as well as your masterpiece. And then you will return to Nuremberg, where marriage awaits you, and your new life as a master awaits you. Nuremberg, the free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, major trade center, and city of the arts, including printing. Nice. Yes, marriage to someone he has never met, hardly ideal. Well, the alternative is becoming a philosopher. No, Jesus, then you should definitely get married. Is she pretty at least? That's what my brother said in his letter, but maybe he's just trying to lift my spirits. The small portrait they sent was lovely, but we artists can be flatterers. Oh, who knows? That's not why I'm doing it anyway. It is growing late. The wheel of time stops for no man, Andreas. I fear you must leave. Ah, true, your majesty. Will you visit us again soon? Uh, hopefully, but it's out of my control, your majesty. I don't know, your majesty. Well, I can't always dream of this place, your majesty. Hopefully, but it is out of my control. As are many things. Trust in Providence. Robian, please see Andreas safely home. Of course, your majesty. Next time, Andreas. Until next time, your majesty. This is like the greatest boat ride ever. Except for like the fist fight. That's a little concerning. It seems awfully one-sided. Pay no mind to the other fools, Andreas. I never do. Ow. At least I would if they stop stepping on my feet. Watch where you're going. <laughs> They're fools, Andreas. No point in trying to teach them anything. I know old John wants you to endure the abbot shite. But since I take you home, I get the last word. Don't let him run you ragged boy. Oh, well, the abbot can't push me around. He's just trying to keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. It'll be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. Uh, you know, it'll be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. There's no way to think about it. You need to stand up for yourself. Oh. Oh, God. Would you please start out? Ah, my feet, you fracking big nosed idiot. I give up. Take me home, Grobian. <laughs> As you wish, Andreas. And it's a dream. Good morning, Ursula. Good only, Amanda. How cute. Time to get up. Chapter 1, The Baron, April 15th, April 1518. Do, do, do. A few more pages back to the Abbey. I got quests. Nice. What's this? The Picatrix, Key of Solomon, the Heptameron, Prior Finn Ferenc keeps giving me all... Keeps giving me all these books to read. Who's Farrink? Okay, I gotta wait for it to actually load in. And then turn red. And then there we go. It's that guy. Great. I really should clean this up, but I won't. I'm not tired yet, perhaps after complying. What other buttons do I have? Anything else? Multiple menus, maps, people, glo holy crap, there's a lot to this, huh? Okay. Let's go downstairs to the girder house. 
Ursula and Rala. All right. We should uh, we should be talking to you more. I feel. Good morning, Andreas. Did you sleep well? Quite well, actually. Thank you. That was ordinary as far as sleeping goes. Not well, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, I'm sorry, Andreas. I can change the straw in the mattress if you'd like. No. Pretty sure it's me. Um, don't trouble yourself, Claire. You have enough to deal with. Well, I'll look into it after I've cleaned in here and taken care of Ursula. That's our child. I don't want you to be uncomfortable in our home. Anyway, I know you'll be off to the Abbey, so I packed you some food. Almonds, cheese, and some of the rye you like from the ovens. Otto wanted me to ask you to join him for dinner at the Abbey. What's Otto look like? Ah, he looks like he's gonna stab me in the back. Otto stop by? Yes, around dawn. Nice, got a little package. Had to wait forever for you, you're so slow. Here you are, Andreas. I'm just kidding. She's doing a great job. Uh, that's too kind of you, Claire. Many thanks. Master Andreas, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could I... I mean, could we, um... Would it be too much trouble if you paid next month's rent today? And if we raised it by two groschen? I hate to ask, but we're behind on our taxes to the Abbey. Two months behind. Peter's losing his hair over it, even more than usual, I mean. There's Peter. Okay. Uh, of course, it's no problem at all. Besides, we wouldn't want Peter to lose any more of his precious hair. Hilarious. Uh, I'm not sure how to... what? What is this? Well, I... wait. Were these taxes unexpected? Can't promise anything. I'll see what I can... Uh, I suppose that's not out of the question. Yes, I think I can manage that. I'm not sure... How th Were these taxes unexpected? Peter says our taxes didn't go up for years, but ever since we've been married, it's just gone up and up. It used to be that if we didn't have the money, we could make payment in kind with some of our crops. The abbot stopped that last year. Now, if we don't get a good price from the miller, it's hard to give the abbey its share. I was waiting, because sometimes it seems like the letters are going to do stuff after I'm done. Sometimes they don't. I know it's not your problem, Andreas, and Peter is too proud to ask you himself. Can you find it in your heart to help us out? Uh, well, now I want to be like, no promises. I want to go and investigate at the Abbey and see if this guy's screwing me over, because, like, I'm 90% sure Peter, who, by the way, Peter looks like a shyster. I'm pretty sure he's screwing us over. Uh... I suppose it's not out of the question. Yeah, I think I can manage it. You know what? I'm gonna be nice. Clara seeming real nice. She said she was gonna replace the straw in my mattress. That's two extra dollars well spent. That's all I'll say about it. Oh, bless you, Andreas, and may St. Luke watch over you today. St. Luke, Christian evangelist and patron saint of artists and physicians offered and represented by a winged bull. Okay. Um, what, what about, what about the game's description of, of, of God? Oh. I wanted to see what it was going to say. I cannot find out. Uh, I've hit all the buttons. Okay, back to the story. Speaking of St. Luke, how's your masterpiece coming along? It's been two months now, hasn't it? Slowly, I'm afraid. Most of the days are spent working for the Abbey. It's only during the Divine Office that Prior Ference allows me to work on my masterpiece. Ah, they're both on here now. Divine Office. The prayer times observed by all Christian monastic orders. Monks and nuns pray together seven times a day and once at night. As dictated by the rule of Saint Benedict. Obviously. I guess. Sure. A reasonable restriction, but slow going. 
The city council doesn't require it to become a master. I'm making it mostly to show client. I'm. The city council doesn't require it to become a... Um, I think he meant to say masterpiece. Typo. Uh, I'm making it mostly to show clients and for my own sake. And yes, when I do finish, I will go back to Nuremberg, where I will marry and open a workshop of my own. From Nuremberg to a university and now traveling the world as an artist. What a life you have had you have ahead of you, Master Andreas. Yes, I suppose it does feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life after you missteps. Must be rather frightening starting all over again. It is, but I now know this is what I want to do. Not many people get to decide that. That's all I ever wanted. Certainly not anyone in Tassing. Cassing? Lassing? Anyway, I don't know anything about art, but I've seen you sketching such beautiful things in your little book. Your masterpiece must be wonderful. See? There was a typo there. What? What's going on? It is. It's my finest work. It's getting there. Oh, well, it's hard to say until it's done, you know? It's uh, like a house that comes together at the end. And that's no way to think about it. I'm sure it will be a treasure when it's finished. Oh, yeah, didn't they actually have someone write all of this stuff? And put it, like, this is actually all handwritten. And including the mistakes. And, like, they leave the mistakes in there. Now I have to get back to my own work. Cause like, it looks like you can actually see where they ran out of ink and then dipped their pen and then continued to write. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas. And we'll see you after Vespers for supper. Monastic hour at dusk, one of the major prayer hours. It is followed by supper. You used to spend a lot of time praying, huh? Not tonight, but thank you, Klaus Drucker. Invited me over for supper. Who's Klaus? Okay, he looks okay. Of course. Please say hello to the Druckers for us. Of course. Until later, Claire. Okay. It's quite the conversation. She didn't hold back. So, Beva. Hello, Andreas. I like that guy that came by to see you earlier. Bring him back. What's up, Peter? Andreas. I don't like Peter. Immediately. I, I want to talk to that guy. He seems fun. Ill Peter. God bless you. Uh. Yeah, just a little... Look at the weird picture of the two legs with the face butt. God bless you. Uh. Andreas. Oh, yes, Andreas. This weather's been awful. This town's gone to crap since my days. Uh, I don't think the townsfolk can do much about the weather. Were things very different when you were young? As different as beer and pee. The old abbot didn't bother us much about our customs. He didn't mind if we left a little offering to Perchta to keep the skies clear, the weather fair. Pagan goddess of the Alps associated with animals and spinning wool. She is still invoked by some Christians in Austria, Switzerland, Bavaria, and uh, Swabia. Paganism's a cool religion. Not that I'm too into any religion, um, but... That's a cool one. Matthias knew uh, that Christ was in our hearts, even if the white lady's name was on our lips. The church banned all observances of pagan gods, Ill Peter. What sort of old customs? I thought St. Moritz protected Tassel. You think that spirits have been fouling the weather since no one follows the customs anymore? Um, what sort of old customs? The kind that scare away witches and keep spirits from calling storm clouds over our farms, obviously. The saints weren't the first to watch over Tassik. My father knew that. Old Ranig Kemper knew that. The late husband of Otilia. That butthole abbot may not like it, but some of us keep the traditions alive. 
Like the old widow Otilia. I won't mention that at the Abbey. Um, what do these traditions entail? When you get up in the night... Yeah, there's definitely an edit in there. When you get up in the night to take a pee, go around the right side of the house and never go back the same way. That way, the witches don't steal your soul! Oh. How interesting. Uh, I should go. Huh? All right, God bless you. All right. When you go to pee, don't go back the way you came. Lesson learned, understood. Big George, what's... Good morning, Andreas. Morning, Big George. How's it going? You working today? Just taking a rest for a bit. Dad's still in the field. He had a big rock with the plow, and it took me Lord knows how long to pull it out. I keep expecting there to be a descriptor. Every time I see red, I apologize for yawning. I've only slept like three hours in the last like 40. You off to the Abbey? Every day but Sunday. Right. Thank God for Sundays. Smells like a storm's coming, no? Huh. Just smells like fresh alpine air to me. You've been traveling too much. Where was it you spent your wander... Yar... Before you came to Tassing? Wandering years, during which a journeyman artist or craftsman travels far and wide to improve their skills. Sounds cool. Um, Basil. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Andreas knows some Italian and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Basel and nearby Bern, Zurich, and Freiburg. Andreas knows some Dutch and French and can reference cultural touchstones. Andreas knows Italian and a little Greek. Can reference cultural touchstones from Florence, Venice, and Milan. Uh, hit me with, like, uh, Dutch and French. That sounds fun. Yeah, we're from Flanders. Lived right next to, uh, Homer, right? Antwerp, Bruges, and Ghent. All the great art cities of Flanders. Where's that? North and west by the Asa. There's your problem. The Sierra has confused your sense of smell. Spend enough time in these mountains and you'll be able to smell a storm coming. How long will that take? Uh, 10, 15 years. I don't think I have that long, Big George. Me neither, buddy. What'd you spend all that time in Flanders doing anyway? Other than art, I mean. Well, I was hedonist, obviously. Uh, seeks out pleasures wherever he goes. He is extremely social. Eh, I mean, it's like a little more like me. Andreas lives to work and dedicates all of his time to his art. I do love art, but I don't know. Andreas spends all of his non-working free time finding and reading as many books as he possibly can. I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. A rapscallion. Andreas has a penchant for getting involved in petty schemes, pranks, minor crimes, and fist fights. Uh, I mean, it sounded fun until we got into fist fights. Andreas devotes much of his time to self-promotion, optimizing business expenses. Ugh. It's either Bookworm or Rapscallion. You know what? Let's do uh, Bookworm. I do like to read. It's like uh, video games of the past. Reading mostly and talking about books. Couldn't get enough of it. Flanders has some of the most incredible manuscript illustrators in Christendom. If the books they produce are treasures everywhere. Come on. Wake up, me. I didn't realize the books meant that much to you. I've seen Father Thomas's Bible and a few other books. I haven't had much use for reading, though. It's Thomas. Okay, he looks happy. Anyway, I have to get going. George, let's go! Dad's already acting like I'm taking too long, even though I did all the work to get that rock out. See you later, Andreas. Till later. Don't worry. I might kill your dad for fun if the game lets me.
I would try. There is a lot going on. Martin, please, can you give me a hand here? What do you want? I'm keeping an eye on him. That looks like a, a lot like standing there and doing nothing. Martin, for Christ's sake, help your cousin. Ah, morning, Andreas. Excuse us, one of the fence rails fell and the sheep started hopping it. Um... No, excuse me. I'll try to stay out of your way. Should I offer to... Okay, I want to click on this because I want to know... Should I offer to help? Oh, so I can do something. I mean, they look really unpleasant and they're like all yelling at each other. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling happy. Um, what? Perhaps helping others also helps us. It allows us to feel useful and take satisfaction in our work. That idiot Martin should be helping them, yell at him, give him a good scare. What is this game? Yeah, Martin, you little crap. Wait, that's presumptuous. I'm not close to their family. Slow. Interesting. So is there something I could do that would have allowed me? What is this game? Uh, is there something I can do to help? Have you ever handled sheep before? Good point. Oh, look, there's something going on up at Steinauer's place. Yeah, the guy yelling at the dude on the horse. Yeah, we can go check that out. Maybe we should go get involved. Who's that on the horse? Looks rich. I don't know, Martin. But Lucky is gonna, is giving him an earful. Oh. I haven't seen Lucky that worked up since Peter and Clara's wedding. When Jonah pulled his pants down. Uh, well, there's Peter and Clara. I'm living at their house. And then uh, Jonah apparently pants himself. Knocked two of my man's teeth out. You don't want to feel the strength behind a stonemason's anger. Fair enough. Do you think he's a noble? He looks really rich. Dang it, Martin! Stay out of trouble for once. What, Aunt Hattie? Behave yourself. Don't we have enough to deal with right now? Andreas, if you wouldn't mind moving your skinny little body up the road, we need to get these sheep under control. Uh, yeah. See you later, you jerk. Help your aunt and cousin, all right? Eat crap, Andreas. Whatever. Little piece of turd, dude. I don't care. Hey, freaking sheep, dude. They're everywhere. I can't get over there. Why don't you move your little skinny bodies out of the road so I can get over there, huh? Oh my. You know what? Just take me to the cloister. Just take me to the cloister. Can I just go to the cloister? Can I skip all this and just feel like I'm going to work? I'm off to work. Klaus! Klaus, I can't read that, buddy. Morning, Andreas! How's it going? Morning, Klaus. Another day at the Abbey. Another few hours to work on my masterpiece. Good to hear. You still coming by for supper tonight? Marie and Bert would love to see you. Nice. Your wife, if that's your wife, looks like a uh, pirate queen, and it's amazing. You really need to see these new woodcuts. I have for an Italian edition of Till Eulenspiegel. Till Eulenspiegel, the titular character of a popular 15th century book. Till is a prankster, continually exposing the vices and hypocrisy of others. He is also quite skilled at tricking people into smelling, touching, or eating his excrement. The titular character 
of a popular 15th century book. Till is a prankster, continually exposing the vices and hypocrisy of others. Love it. Love it. I hate hypocrisy. I love when people get called out on it. He is also quite skilled at tricking people into smelling, touching, or eating his excrement. Right. Uh, I mean, honestly, do Father Thomas won't let you print books in Italian? Come on, Andreas. He's not that strict. I know he's just trying to protect people from uh, adventure stories of questionable moral repute. Your sloppy typesetting. <laughs> Well, not all of us have the luxury of taking days to write a single page for a book, Journeyman Mailer. Only journeyman for a few more months, then missed. Great, then you can take a week for a single page and they'll probably pay you double for it. See, now you're thinking like a master artist. You learn how to do the work and then you barely work on it and you charge people ludicrous amounts of money for the information that you have that they don't. Do I know how to use, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a Photoshop tool to uh, create a uh, thumbnail in roughly 10 to 20 minutes? Absolutely. What could I charge someone for that? Who knows? Depends on how good it is. I might be able to make it in five. Um, not that I'm a master artist, but the point stands. Uh, I don't really understand that either. It's like, uh, there's a lot of jobs where you're slow when you start and you work faster and faster and faster to get up to, uh, maximum quality and speed. And then that is the baseline that is expected from you. Um, as an example, any service job anywhere, any laborer, uh, Anybody who's doing fast food, checking you out at the grocery store, anything, they are encouraged, if not tracked, to go as fast as possible. So I think it's funny that an artist could do that, go as fast as possible, and then charge even more money. I don't know. Not that I'm upset about it. I People should get paid for their art. I'm not saying that. It's just... The way the human mind works sometimes is is ridiculous. It's thinking like that is why we have billionaires. Guy, ah, don't you remember when I started that company and now I have nothing to do with it and I get more money than you know a person could make in a lifetime every single hour? <laughs> but remember, I did work for that one year. So, you know, you guys owe me. And then my family for the rest of time as we bury you into the dirt. I'm very bitter today. It's been a tough day. Tough week, tough month. So, supper tonight after Vespers? Of course, thank you. Great, I'll tell Marie and Bert you're coming. See you then. See you later, bud. All right, see you later, Klaus. Ah, bless, Master Mailer. I hope your week is going well. Thank you, Father, it's going quite well. I'm just on my way up the hill to get to work. Uh, thank you, Father, but I'm running late to the Abbey. It's no problem if you don't have time for me today, but the question is, will you have time for the Lord on Sunday? You understand how important it is for your salvation that you receive Holy Communion, don't you? Uh... I could lie? I, yes, I apologize, Father Thomas. I promise to make it this time. I do, but I've been working on sketches late at night, and... Uh, you know what? I'll just sigh. Andreas, do you think I like saying these silly things to people to get them to come to check? Dropping some truth bombs in this game. Uh-oh. Oh my, what a blessed day to receive such an illustrious visitor. Master Mail, this is Lorenz, Baron of Rothwall, a great lord from the countryside near Worms. Worms! Prosperous imperial free city in the western part of the empire located in the Rhine River 
And this has been the site of many imperial diets. I don't know what that means. Okay. Good to see you, Father Thomas. It's nice to be remembered fondly. I only wish all of your neighbors here are as welcoming. Well, yeah. What brings you back to our little town? And my wife and I were returning from a trip to Venice. We spent a few days in Ernsbrook, and it was terribly dull. Venice, one of the most powerful republics on the Italian peninsula. Sitting on the northwest coast of the Adriatic Sea, Venice is a major center for commerce and art in southern Europe. Capital of the Austrian country of Tyrol, Innsbruck. And major stop on the Imperial Road connecting Italy and Bavaria. It is the closest major city to Kirsau Abbey and Tassig, notably. It was also the site of the Witch Trials of 1485. Oh. Cool. I'm sure... No one here will die. I mean, it has a certain charm to those alpine cities, but the place is uh, crawling with nobles from the emperor's diet. What's the diet? An imperial diet is an assembly of three colleges of the imperial estates of the Holy Roman Empire, the prince electors, the princes and dukes, and representatives of the imperial cities. They meet to deliberate on matters of the importance to the empire. So a bunch of rich and powerful people get together to figure out how to keep themselves and them family, their families in uh, wealth and power. Gotcha. The emperor! Was he there? Did you see him? Uh, briefly, but he was sitting for a portrait at the time. Quite lovely. Didn't want to bother him or the painter, though. Uh, who was the artist, my lord? I'm sure you know of him. An older man from Nuremberg with enough of a reputation to paint the emperor. Sorry, my lord, I'm not sure who you mean. Have you not heard of Albrecht Dürer? Albrecht Dürer is a renowned painter and printmaker from Nuremberg. He's revered in Venice as well as across the Holy Roman Empire. Since 1312, he has enjoyed the patronage of the Emperor Maximilian I. Pity. I thought he was known across the empire. Anyway, my wife wanted to stay a bit longer in Innsbruck, and I decided to ride ahead to make a visit to Kirsau. And Father Matthias died shortly after my last visit, of course. Abbot of Kirsau before Father Gernot, widely respected by the monks and nuns, as well as the people of Tassing, known for his kindness and his love of books. A great loss for the Abbey, for us all. Indeed. By good fortune, I recently came across a copy of the Historia Tassia, an account of the early history of Tassing. Kirsau's previous abbot, Father Matthias, had a copy. Baron Rothvogel brought another to the Abbey as a gift. Information already, huh? He was reading during my last visit. Father Matthias was, hope Matthias was hoping to find a second copy to corroborate the contents of the first. It contains some fascinating details about the history of this place. I'm afraid they might even cause a bit of a scandal. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, but I must be off. There will be time enough to discuss Tassing's past later. I commissioned a manuscript from the Abbey through Father Gernot, and I have come to check on its progress. Right? The jerk, right? I don't like him. Oh, my lord. If you have come to see a manuscript, you should speak with young Master Mailer here. Uh, not quite a true master yet. I still have to marry and be approved by our city council. Andreas is a journeyman artist from Nuremberg. For the next few months, he's also helping in the Abbey's scriptorium. Room for writing, illustrating, and illuminating manuscripts. Though typically associated with monasteries, they have disappeared from almost all abbeys by the 16th century. What were they? Room for writing, illustrating, and illuminating manuscripts. No. I mean, what what use does a religious institution have for, you know, accounts of history? A Nuremberger artist working in an abo scriptorium. Abbey scriptorium. In 1518? Ah, we should talk. Andreas, I must know the story. 
Of course, my lord, it'd be an honor. Well, I'm already late to the Abbey, but I suppose it's all right. Surely my lord would find little entertainment or companionship in me. Um. Well, I'm already late to the Abbey, but I suppose it's all right. Of course it is. I'll have a word with the abbot if he makes a fuss. And if he still makes a fuss, I'll have a word with the Prince Bishop of Freising, a good friend of mine. Religious and secular ruler of scattered territories in the Holy Roman Empire, including the lands containing Tassing, Kearsau, and Abbey. All right, dude. Thank you for, your in for the introduction, Father Thomas. Come to supper at the Abbey tonight. I'm inviting you to the abbot's table. Is, did the abbot invite me? Oh, oh, he invited the father. Okay, because I already got dinner plans, bro. Uh, don't worry about it, father. Just show up after Vespers. What is he going to do? Refuse us? Uh, excellent. We shall see you then. McClaus, I'm dismounting. Run ahead of us and take the horses to the abbey's guest house. I'd like to take my time talking with Master Mailer. I'll meet you there. At once, my lord. Dude, this game is awesome. So, then a journeyman from Nuremberg. Dude, look at all the people, like, working in the fields in the back and little animals and stuff. Dude, I, I really like this. I like this a lot. I also like that the, the art style is not like... Oh my god, this is next level art. It's like... It's enough to give it personality and depth and feel. And it's really cool. Big fan. I'm a big fan. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up right here. Um, I feel like I still don't understand what's happening in this game, but I'm going to take a guess based on the little bits that I know about it. Um, so, there is... Um, it, I, it has something to do with, like, time travel. All right? It's got something to do with time travel and everything not being what it seems. Because pentiment is an art technique where you remove the surface picture to reveal a secret picture underneath. So, it's something about that. So, I think, because, you know, in the beginning when I was trying to interact with that family, I was trying to crap all over that kid for being a little jerk. Um, it said I don't, I'm not really close to their family. And it makes me wonder, is, am I... Am I going to have the chance to, like, or did my starting choice mean that I wasn't close to their family? Like, because why would they give me an option to do something? I mean, this is from freaking Obsidian. Bro, this isn't Obsidian. Is this Obsidian? It's Josh Sawyer. God, dude, are they doing that many games? Are they doing Pillars of Eternity, Grounded, this, and a... Y'all are busy. Uh, is Josh Sawyer... Sawyer, I think, is his name. Who made this? Who's like one of the leaders in the company. And he just wanted to make something for himself. Like, that was what he wanted. And this is it. So, from what I understand, it's like you're investigating. Time passes as you exist in the world. And... It seems like you are trying to figure out some kind of ultimate truth. And then your method for doing that is living your life differently to find the real answers. I'll be honest, I'm not totally sure, but it's pretty cool. I've been having a great time with it. I still feel like I barely scratched the surface. All these choices and the different things that you can do, and they're all remembered. And... Or is this in exile? No, this isn't in exile. Dude, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, both amazing companies. But anyway, I just... I can't imagine that they'd give us a bunch of choices that actually, like, didn't do anything, you know? So, I don't know. It seems real cool. I'm gonna have to play some more of it. I apologize for wrapping the video up earlier. All the talking, um... Hurts really bad, actually. With the swallowing and stuff. Like, I'm having a, a lot of pain and discomfort. So, um... Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Dude, go check out Pentiment on Game Pass. It is cool and unique. And it feels like it's got something to say. Because it's already said a lot. And I like that. 
So anyway, put some good out in the world and I hope some good comes back to you. And I cannot wait. See you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.